everybody and welcome to the show. Today's subject of discussion is the new changes that the state proposed to Arizona's budget. And now to my co-host, Kiri Carlson. Thank you, Julia. Overall, I believe that the personnel reform section of the budget will positively benefit both Arizona and its people. For example, personnel reform will enhance the state's efforts to attract and retain high-quality employees, which will increase productivity. Another part of personnel reform states that the employees who meet specific criteria qualify for a 5% pi pay increase, which gives an incentive and increases productivity, because incentives make people respond in predictable ways. And now, to my other co-host, Adam Walker. I think in the adult corrections portion, an addition of 2,500 beds is a wonderful idea. You know, if I didn't have this amazing job, I would consider committing a felony just to get a nice free bed. Just kidding. This isn't a good idea because it gives citizens reason to commit crimes and go to prison. However, I do agree with the additional officers because it increases protection for the producers and consumers of Arizona. Back to Julia. Oh. Learning Initiatives Overall, the Learning Initiatives section will positively impact Arizona's children from kindergarten to 12th grade. There will be an increased investigation of allegations of misconduct among teachers, administrators, and staff, which will positively benefit our children because it will keep the criminals that are lurking in our school hallways away. Also, an additional $50 million will be added to reading intervention and remediations program in early grades. This will have a positive effect on our community because it will make the new generation literate. But a ban on new district-sponsored charter schools has a negative effect because it puts kids out of school. And it's bad for the economy because if the new generation of kids is not schooled or not very well, then it'll hurt the economy because elite companies cannot afford to hire these uneducated workers so they cannot have as many workers and will not be as productive or have as many workers. And now, to Karina Bailey on budget changes in the universities. Overall, the state's proposed changes to the university portion of the budget positively affect the schools. There will be $10 million for smart scholarships to enhance employability, which will stimulate the economy because, more, because there are more and better available workers. And now to Adam Walker with our opinion on Medicaid reform. Medicaid reform will positively impact Arizona and its people by increasing funds for CPS, which will perfect Arizona's children and, neg and help give adults insurance who cannot or do not get it through their job. Also, it will allow SMI adults or serious mental illness adults to receive care, care management and support for their family or and friends. And how to my co-host and now to my co-host Kiri Carlson with our last topic, the National Outlook. Thank you. The National Outlook for Arizona is positive. Personal income is expected to rise 6%. Also, recovery will continue in net migration from other states, absorption, absorption of excess housing inventory, aerospace technology, and healthcare industries. That's all for tonight, folks. Thanks for watching. See you next time on the show.